Okay, here's a uh, Drake TR4CW. This is the uh, final version of the classic TR4 transceiver. They finally uh, took the CW operator into account on this one. And the basic difference is a 500 hertz uh, 8 pole crystal filter in the IF and the addition of RIT which uh, is almost a uh, necessity for CW. Anyway, we're listening through the sideband filter right now. This one needed some parts. A couple of tubes and a uh, multi-section can from Hayseed Hamfest and they are a pretty good outfit to deal with. So anyway, let's uh, tune around a little bit here, give a short demo. We're on uh, 40 meters, it's, um, I don't know, about 5.30 or 6 o'clock uh, early evening. The band doesn't sound too noisy. There's the 500 hertz filter in action. And RIT and noise blanker are these two buttons here. So the RIT control is where the noise blanker used to be on the TR4Cs but we can activate the RIT and we get a few kilohertz uh, swing on each side now one weird thing about this one is you notice right now there's no sideband light being displayed but if I rock the band switch just touch it a little bit it'll come into effect. And if I change bands, it didn't it didn't click. You gotta just kind of touch the switch. Doesn't happen all the time. But every once in a while you gotta just give it a little jiggle. And what that is is uh, the very first forward section of the band switch wafer. The one all the way up front is uh, worn out. And um, to find a new wafer and replace it, I mean it could be done, but it's kind of a uh, labor intensive thing if you can find the right uh, wafer to replace. So anyway, I guess you have to live with that. But let's tune around a little bit here. That's so nice. Turn the RIT on. to uh, sideband. This one has a nice set of match IF filters in it. Bunch of AM stations. Uh, we go to 80 meters. There should be some of the tall ships on up here. We'll check out 3895.
change side bands. Off. That's the one thing. That's the one thing this is kind of uh, missing as an indicator, some kind of visual indicator, other than looking at the button to tell if the RIT is on or off. You know, if they could have put a little LED or something somewhere, I guess. Uh, but, you know, that's uh, no big deal. And it's got real good opposite sideband rejection. So all it needed was a four section uh, filter capacitor, uh, two tubes, both in the receiver IF, a 6BZ6 and a 12BA6. And uh, the uh, transmitter neutralization was way off. I mean, way off. Like it was not neutralized at all. I, uh, added a little bit of drive to this thing and it almost pegged a 200 watt watt meter. I knew that wasn't right. And sure enough, uh, plate current was all over the place. But it neutralized right up. I think somebody replaced the finals. There's a set of GEs in there. These originally came with Sylvanias. Um, but uh, the current neutralizing capacitor setup was sufficient. So up on 10 meters, um, with a little bit of drive, we uh, resonate it and adjust the neutralization. And now on all bands, we get maximum power out at minimum plate current, which is uh, the way it should be. So anyway, this one is for the CW operators. Really nice straight transceiver. This one is very clean, all except for the little deal with the band switch here, where you gotta rock it a little bit to get it to come on every once in a while but it's been fun to play with this and uh, it's a pretty nice old set uh, this one the date code on the capacitor was 1976 about the middle of the year 20th week of 1976. So that would put it in May sometime. So this was probably sent off to a retailer and purchased I would think in the uh, in the fall or maybe early winter of uh, 1976. And it survived in great shape. Cosmetically it's almost perfect very clean inside and aside from the little worn band switch wafer it's uh, working top notch so that's the TR4CW with RIT keep tinkering <laughs>